Hello all, welcome back to Be A Creative. This week's tag uh, came together completely by accident and I am super glad that I took my husband's advice and had my camera on because I tend to make my best tags when I'm just playing and I don't always remember to film that and I am kind of a one hit wonder when it comes to tags. Like I'll make something that I really like and then the chances of me being able to recreate that are slim to none. And like I said, this tag happened completely by accident. I was pulling bits and pieces together because I wanted to do a black and white themed tag. I've been super into that color scheme lately. And I had two pieces of that Dina Wakely collage paper in this face, what you're seeing me glue down uh, right here on just a regular tag. While I was getting my uh, stuff together, I inadvertently laid the white version of this collage paper over the black version and this happened and I was like well that is kind of awesome I absolutely love the effect that it gave I'm sure other people have done this and I don't know if this if this is truly just a complete eureka moment or if maybe I have subconsciously absorbed it someplace else but regardless I think that it it gave this really interesting effect that really informed the rest of my tag. So while that's drying, I'm gonna start working on the background of my tag and I pulled out my trusty old gel plate and I'm just laying down some white paint. Uh, there was an unfortunate incident with my brayer earlier and uh, it took me a couple of tries to get actual white paint down, not like white paint that was tinted with purple alcohol ink. Don't ask, it was a whole thing. So after I have the white paint down, I took uh, some Liquitex basics black just watered it down and I'm just kind of swooshing it onto my plate there's no rhyme or reason I just wanted it to look really watery and fluid as and make a kind of a gray to mix with the white I am adding a little bit more black paint directly to the gel plate because I want really intense pops of black paint uh, placed kind of you know sporadically throughout once I get that down, I have a size 10 dilutions tag. Those things are huge and I don't use them very often. So I'm trying to, to kind of come up with things that I can use them for. And I'm just taking it and just sporadically bumping it against the gel plate, at, like kissing it, if you will. I mean, I'm not making out with it. I'm just kissing it against the gel plate. Once I have it like how I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of the paint off. And those ghost images are absolutely beautiful. And I cannot wait to apply them to something. Probably wind up as backgrounds for future tags. I can just see that happening. So once I have uh, all the you know stuff cleaned up, I'm going back to my tag, which is now dry, and I'm pulled out two stencils in two different types of patterns. So one is the faces, and I'm gonna apply some medieval, I think that's the name of that paint. Check the description box below for a list of the full supplies with a sponge dauber. I've been watching a whole bunch of the ranger artists uh, use this technique to apply paint. And honestly, y'all, it's a game changer. You know how I struggle with stenciling, well, putting paint through a stencil. This has really changed the game when it comes to that. I don't struggle as much. I think probably because I'm not using as much paint. But if anyone knows if you can wash those things, if they have paint on them, if you could let me know in the uh, comments box below, I would really appreciate that. I've just sporadically put some of the medieval paint down through the faces, like I said, and now I'm using the other stencil to kind of create a unifying effect and uh, the black paint. I want something really strong. I guess my paint wasn't as dry as I originally thought when I started stenciling, so I'm getting more of a black gray mixture. Uh, that's okay. We're just going to keep, we're just going to keep rolling because I'm not redoing the whole thing because of that. I'm starting to get like this really awesome, messy background look. And at the time of this creation, I wasn't thinking about how hard it was going to be to place a basically black and white image right over top of that. As you can see here, this is when I'm discovering that. So because it's all kind of going to blend in, I know that I need just a slight contrast in color. So I went through my little uh, scrap box that I keep on my desk and I found this butterfly that was in a uh, stamped over a previously gel print image. Did anyone notice that I just stuck her cutout head in the incredibly not dry paint that was on my mat? <laughs> I'm going to discover that in a minute. So because the background is so busy, I do need something that's just a little bit more solid. And mm, this is when I discover that I did that. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to wipe it up <laughs> because 
I did, those were the only collage ones that I had. And I was like, I'll just wipe it up. That's fine. So I have uh, some black paint that had been brayered off on some deli paper. And I used that to create more of a solid background to place her face over top of. Now I'm putting in my collage elements and this little circle right here is literally a piece of trash. I had cut an actual circle out for another project and really kind of liked the organic way that the, the frame looks. So I'm like, you know, I'm just going to save that. I'll just save it. I'll, I'll figure out something to do with it. The same thing with this trash tag that I'm using here too. I've been using, you know, just cutting it up bits and pieces, but I do need some more solid black in the background. And this is how I'm going to accomplish that. I left this part in because a friend of mine asked me how I make those really thin circles. And this is how I do it. They always look kind of wonky and um, I wish I could say that was deliberate. That's just because I can't cut anything straight. But that's exactly how I do it. I fold, I cut a circle, fold it in half, and then cut it again to whatever you know degree of thickness that I want the edge to be. Once I have that cut, I'm taking some more black paint and obviously, as you can see here, I am just using my finger to paint the circle black. So once I get everything figured out where I, you know, I want it placed, I, through the magic of editing, I'm going to glue everything down right now. I've even added my little sentiment, and that is a quote by Jackson Pollock. Every good artist paints what he is. Yeah, sorry, my hand was in the way and I couldn't remember it exactly. So that's a quote by Jackson Pollock. And like I said, I've been really super focused on black and white lately. I think because I've been spending a lot of time, uh, in school talking and researching cognitive distortions and black and white thinking is one of those things and it's something that we all deal with so that has definitely be been driving a lot of my art lately not that anyone asked i'm using a stabilo to outline her head because even though i do have enough solid black uh, to really let the face stand out a little bit it still needs just a little bit more of a distinction so i use the stabilo to make that that line of demarcation, if you will. And because I don't feel like the tag is really finished yet, I'm adding some washi tape. I cannot tell you which uh, washi tape collection that is from, but if you guessed it's from Dina Wakely, you would be correct. I'm just sporadically placing it, and when I was putting it down, I was thinking, oh, well, it would look kind of cool if it looked like the washi tape was holding her face onto the tag. So that's the only thing that's really kind of informing the placement for that particular washi tape. I think at this point it's done, but in the moment I decided, mm, nope, you need a little bit more, con like, I don't even know what I was thinking. I just wanted more, 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 more. More is not always a good thing. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do you think I really needed these extra little pieces of washi that I added in? I don't think I do. I might take those off. Anyway, we have our finished tag. I really like how it came together, even with the the crazy butterfly that I use just for contrast. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't forget I upload every Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I so love the time that I get to spend with you every week. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Hey, here's some more videos that you might like, and please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you can see more of my content.